welcome or welcome back. It is the next morning, y'all. And it feels good outside. We are going to the Blue Lagoon. We're going to the Crystal Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon, Crystal Lagoon. Why is it so hard to say Lagoon? <laughs> Blue Lagoon, Crystal Lagoon, and Popeye Village. So super excited about that. I just finished up breakfast. I had to go solo with my cousin. She's still getting ready, but I just wanted to get some breakfast before we head out. The shuttle gets here at 945. So this is the outfit I'm wearing today. Got a two-piece set on, got some sandals, and I got my big wood bag out because I got everything up in there that I need. My water bottle, swimsuit, everything. So we're taking like a big boat. The tour is about six hours long, so it's gonna be all day. So by the time we get back, it's gonna be probably time for dinner right now. It's early in the morning. The sun is out, it's beautiful out here. Look y'all, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. But yeah, Monts have been pretty cool. I've been enjoying my time here. I have so much to say, y'all. We'll definitely come back in, let you guys know how this resort is. But overall, it's good. Um, the people are very sweet and accommodating. Um, they have indoor pools, they have saunas. It's been pretty cool out here. It's a vibe. Hey, you guys, I'm gonna stop running my mouth and I'm gonna go ahead and catch the shuttle because I believe it's about 9 35. So the shuttle will be here in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out so we can go. And I will see you guys when we get on the boat. Jack it up.
y'all want to believe my damn shoes flew in the damn ocean. I had to go ask the guy on the boat. So he got like a little rake thing and he helped me get my shoes. I wasn't finna get in the water and get that damn shoe, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's so windy. I'm in Malta at the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> it's the views for me, y'all. So pretty. Pretty island for a pretty girl. basically walk the trail. This looks pretty dangerous. Look y'all. I feel like I'm on an obstacle course. So we're gonna keep walking you guys and let's go and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog because I've been having fun y'all. It's been really fun out here. So much water. I'm always happy when I'm around water. This is my peace of mind. This right here is my peace of mind. I love it.
I definitely should have wore shoes out here, y'all. Definitely. I feel like I'm on a hiking trip right now. It's not much to see here. It's like really, literally like we're hiking. And then over there is the beach area. But yeah, this is Camino Island. Really pretty. Like this one. The blue lagoon where we just came from. That was like beachy, water, vibey. They had music, all that type of stuff. So this is more like a quiet area. And just walking, I guess, you know. Walking in tune with nature. I'm not complaining because y'all know I love it. I love nature. I'm in tune with nature. Horseback riding, and then after horseback riding, we're gonna go to St. Cathedral. 
or whatever. And then after that, we're gonna go to Valletta and do some shopping around because we haven't been able to shop around for like souvenirs and stuff. So we're gonna do that today. And then we're probably gonna go to Shoreline Mall as well. We pinked out today, y'all. The horseback riding is called Golden Bay. I used to do horseback riding lessons when I was younger, y'all. Like, I really legit used horseback lessons, so. I'm grown now. We're gonna see how this goes. But I'm super excited. I can't wait, you guys. And I'm so glad you guys are coming along with me. You guys like coming along with me. Because I don't brought y'all to Malta. You know what I'm saying? I bring y'all everywhere with me. We're gonna be on the way so we don't be late. Our appointment is now at 12 o'clock, I believe. So, yeah, you guys stay tuned. Just made it to the horseback riding place. I'm already seeing and smelling the horses, but I love horses, y'all. This is the sign right there, Golden Bay. Y'all see that? And it's actually some horses right here, y'all. Let's check out the horses. Good morning. Good morning. Can I call you? Super excited, y'all. So we're about to walk in and I guess sign some paperwork and do all this stuff. Y'all, so we're gonna try McDonald's and Malta. You know what I'm saying? We, we want to be 
country acting brand new. <laughs> <laughs> <That's your thing. laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is my painting partner for today. <laughs> Making chocolate. It is tempered, so it's about 29 degrees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tempering is very important. It makes it nice and shiny and it gives it that nice crack when you break it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's literally just making sure that all the elements of the chocolate are combined correctly. So there's no splitting of anything. Okay. So if you've ever seen chocolate that has like a white powdery effect on it, yeah. mm -hmm. um, that means that the chocolate either hasn't been tempered correctly or it's come out of temper mm -hmm. because the cocoa butter has risen to the top of the chocolate. So what you're seeing is the cocoa butter yeah. oh, of okay. the chocolate. Okay. So tempering creates a long chain molecule to make sure that all the elements combine correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So because it's tempered, it's going to set quite quickly. So okay. we're going to have to... So I'm going to give you each one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut off the bottom and you're going to fill your mold quick, quick. halfway. So halfway in the mold. Mm -hmm. Once you fold it halfway, I want you to grab the top, squeeze it down and just fold it over so that you don't lose any of your chocolate. Mm -hmm. And you're going to bang your tray on the table for the chocolate to level itself out mm -hmm. and to get out all the air bubbles. It also helps combine the milk chocolate with the painted chocolate that's already in the mold. <laughs> Chocolate uh, two years. Two years. Yeah. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
It's a really good job. <laughs> I don't believe it. Got free chocolate anytime you want. You have to stay with chocolate. That's right. Um, when I first started working, yeah, I ate so much chocolate. I didn't really? touch it for like six months because I just I was just sick of it. So sick of it. Oh, wow. mm. Let me try. Not really coffee. Thing. It's not nasty, but it's so. Oh, that's not bad. It's like a pico. That's fair. Okay, so those two. <laughs> yes. Number three. Make them truffles. Okay. And then roll it around to cover it in chocolate. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, yep, into the cooking. And you can pick it up. This is my hand, y'all. We rolled in chocolate. It's getting messy in here. My hand is Not my favorite good. part, but the chocolate's good. <laughs> oh, it's dripping now. Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's like we can say. So we'll take the chocolate. Maybe nails ain't the best <laughs> thing to do with chocolate. <laughs>
souvenir shopping. Got a couple things here. I'm trying to find some hoodies, some shirts. I got my refrigerator bag. It's gonna keep walking the city. Do some souvenir shopping. And that's about it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because you are enjoying my time in Malta. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for the next destination. It's gonna be all around the country.